In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a form on Typeform. If you've ever needed to gather information, feedback, or just about anything from a group of people, you've likely needed to use a form. The good news is, with platforms like Typeform, creating forms that are both engaging and easy to use has never been simpler. To kick things off, the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the Typeform website. This is your gateway to creating forms that look great and are a breeze for your users to fill out. Once you're there, you'll see various options, but what we're interested in today is getting you logged in. So go ahead and click on the Login button. It's typically located in the top right corner of the page, but if it's your first time, keep an eye out as website layouts can change. For those of you who prefer to streamline your login process, Typeform offers a Continue with Google option. This is particularly handy if you're someone who juggles multiple passwords and accounts. By choosing to continue with Google, you can bypass the traditional login process, making things just a bit quicker and smoother. Now, patience is key. After clicking to continue with Google, give it a couple of minutes. Sometimes the wheels of the internet turn a bit more slowly than we'd like, but hang tight. Your new form is just around the corner. Once you're successfully logged in, you're ready to start the exciting part, creating your new form. Look for the option that says create new form. This can usually be found quite prominently on your dashboard or in the workspace area of your account. If you're having trouble finding it, the layout of the page might have changed, so take a moment to familiarize yourself with the interface. After clicking on create new form, you're presented with two choices. Since we're focusing on crafting something unique today, go ahead and select start from scratch. This option unleashes your full creative potential allowing you to build a form that fits your exact needs without being constrained by pre-existing templates. The next step is where your creativity really comes into play. It's time to um, add elements to your form. Elements can be anything from text fields, multiple choice questions, or even rating scales. This is your opportunity to think about what information you're trying to gather and choose the elements that best suit your needs. Remember, a well-designed form is not just about asking questions, it's about making the experience enjoyable for the user. Lastly, once you've poured your creativity into designing the form and you're satisfied with how it looks and functions, it's time to go live. Look for the Publish button. This might feel like a small step, but it's a significant moment. Publishing your form makes it accessible for users to start interacting with. Take a deep breath, give it a final review to make sure everything is in order. And then go ahead and publish your form. A few additional tips to consider before we wrap up. Always preview your form before publishing. This gives you a chance to experience the form from a user's perspective, ensuring that everything flows as intended. Think about the flow of your questions. You want to guide users through your form in a way that feels natural and engaging. Don't forget to share your form, whether it's embedded on a website, shared via email, or posted on social media, getting your form out there is crucial to gathering the data you need. And there you have it. You've just learned how to create a form on Typeform from logging in to publishing your first form. Remember, the beauty of Typeform lies in its flexibility and ease of use, allowing you to create forms that are not only functional, but also fun to fill out. Thank you for joining me today. Whether you're gathering feedback, registering event attendees, or just curious, the forms you create on Typeform will surely help you achieve your goals. Stay tuned for more helpful tips and tricks and happy form building.